healing the cosmic birthing pain. You will meet your twin soul at some point. Please let this knowledge be enough to you. Try not to dwell upon hopes and expectations that take you out of the here and now. What matters in this very moment is that you fully realize that the love and safety you deeply desire are present within yourself. The key is to realize that this absolute self-acceptance can never be given to you by anyone else, not even by your twin soul. Not only in love relationships, but also in parent-child relationships, there is the temptation to find absolute oneness or safety in the other. Think of a parent who secretly wants his child to realize all the dreams he did not fulfill, or a child who, as a grown-up, still clings to her parents and considers them to be her absolute safe haven. It is important to become aware of the underlying dynamics and motives in your relationships and to heal them in the light of your consciousness. Your cosmic homesickness is not going to be healed by or in a relationship. This will be done by you alone, by the full realization of who you are, by realizing your light, beauty, and divinity. This is the destination of your journey. Also, you will not return to the state of oneness from whence you came. The blanket of love from which you were born constituted your embryo stage. Now you are becoming mature gods. You will create a field of absolute safety and love from your own heart and allow others to share in this without any conditions. That is the essence of God. Unconditional love that radiates, creates, and cherishes without any agenda, without any calculation. I would like to ask you now to be silent for a few moments and to truly feel your I-ness, your unique being unto yourself. If you are surrounded by people, then for a moment feel your I very strongly. Unconditionally, you are this part of God. It is not something that can be taken from you. It is an undeniable presence that is. And now feel how this undeniable fact of your I presence can be a source of joy and strength to you. Say yes to the miracle of your own being and embrace it. Yes, I am I. I am separate and unique, my own being. I may connect deeply with others, but also ever remain an I. You may think that behind this fact lies solitude and desolation, but please go beyond these thoughts and feel the power and vitality within you. If you really say yes to your individuality, you experience self-confidence and trust. On that basis, you will create loving relationships and the solitude and desolation will dissolve. When feelings of loneliness and desolation overwhelm you, take the child within you on your lap. Notice the hurt in this child. It is longing for the total safety it once knew as an embryo. It wants to see that safety reflected in the face of your partner, in the face of your child, in the face of your mother or father, in the face of a therapist. Then show the child your face. You have the face of an angel for this child. You are meant to heal this child in the most absolute way you can dream of. Neither I nor any master is able to do it for you. We can only show the direction. You yourselves are the saviors of yourself. Finally, I would like to invite you to feel our joining together for a moment. Even if you are not present and you are reading or hearing this material, feel our connectedness. Do not focus on the I-ness now, but on our togetherness in a very free and easy way. Feel the energy, 
feel what brings us together. It is a longing for the state of wholeness. Now imagine that we are surrounded by the most powerful energy there is, the energy of your awakened selves, the energy of the angel within you. Let us breathe in this energy and take a minute to deeply feel its power. Thank you for your presence.